Now we can make a change here. We can say actually we're going to fade out the badger on this queue. And we can now, if we want to, just snapshot layer 4. And we can say badger out. And maybe what we'll do is we'll create a blackout as well. So we'll pull all of these here down. And we'll record this as a blackout. So we'll snapshot all layers again. And maybe what we want to do is we want to have another queue that comes up with some different content. So let's build that now and we might choose uh, a meerkat um, sorry we'll put the meerkat actually on layer one and uh, we'll just scale him up and tilt down so we've got his face uh, might choose to not have the meerkat going to mix three this time but instead going to 4 and on layer 2 let's uh, have a different type of tree oops should be the meerkat on layer 2 let's have the different type of tree just scale him out a bit we're going to move the tree over there scale him up a bit And maybe we'll move that meerkat there a bit more. Maybe just change the aspect a touch. Pull them up a touch. Make them a little bit larger. Pull them down a touch so that his face is just in there. And on layer 3, we might just change where those clouds are going. We're going to change them to go not to 1, but to 3. And layer 4, we're just going to leave as is. In fact, we might just reset it back to library 0, file 0. That's always a good practice. So in our presets, we're going to snapshot this, and this is going to be our meerkat preset. So we'll give it a name, and we'll say snapshot all layers. So what we what now happens is if we just come out of edit mode, we can click on the presets to trigger them. Um, or we can use keyboard shortcuts, which is control plus one. We could set DMX up to trigger these presets. We could set up MIDI to trigger these presets. Or we could set our internal cue list up to trigger these presets. And that could be the cue list on this catalyst machine, or it could be the cue list on another catalyst machine. But what we'll do right now is we'll just click on these presets to see what happens. So there we go we click on our badger preset and it's taken us back into that state the badger goes out we get a blackout uh, we should probably give that a name as well whilst I'm here I forgot to do that and if we click over here we've now got a meerkat well, this is all very well and good, but actually what we'd really like to happen is for the badger stuff to always fade in and for the badger to fade out. So we then need to go into our edit preset window. So we click on the little arrow that's down where all these red um, indicators of what, what layers are stored in that preset is click on edit preset 
And so we are editing preset one, layer one. And this is where we can choose fade times, etc., for any of the parameters in that layer. So what I want to do is I want all the layers in this preset to fade to their correct level, which is 255, that's the maximum, over two seconds. All the other attributes I want to snap to that correct value. Um, So I'll do the same for layer 2. And I'll do the same for layer 3. And I'll do the same for layer 4. and we'll hit OK to that. And now we'll do the same thing with preset 2 and you'll notice that layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, well, layers 1, 2 and 3 have no information in them but layer 4 does. So we're going to set that to fade to 0 over let's say three seconds so now if we just hit the blackout if we run badger clouds we get that faded up and when we click on badger out our badger fades out now you may have noticed that the clouds are going to the wrong mixes and that's because when we snapshot a layer uh, it automatically doesn't include the routing information so we're just going to go back and include that so layer 1 should be going to mix 1 and it should also be going to mix 3 all the others it should be going to off. So we'll OK that. In preset 2 we don't need to worry about the mixing, there can be just no change there. And for the blackout there could be no change there as well. But for the meerkat what we want is for layer 1 to be going to mix 1 for that. For mix 2 to be off for mix 3 to go off, for mix 4 to go on, and the rest we're not using, so let's not worry about them. And then layer 2 is fine, layer 3 we're not, uh, we are worried about. We want mix 1 to be off, we want mix 2 to be off, we want mix 3 to be on, and we want mix 4 to be off. So we'll just OK that. OK, so if we now run Badger Clouds, and all oh, looks like I got that a bit wrong. Uh, let's just amend the preset, let's edit the preset, so layer 3 should be going to mix 4 should be on, mix 3 should be off, mix 2 should be off, mix 1 should be off, it looks like I forgot that one the first time around, just OK that, so if we go back to the blackout and run badger clouds again there we go, we're back in the right. So it's quite important to remember or think about uh, if you're going to be changing mixes with presets.